Welcome to How to Cheat on the SAT by MindFish.com. Now, just so you know, while I do say this is how to cheat on the SAT, it is legal cheating. But the SAT doesn't want you to know about it. So that's why it's still, in our opinion, cheating. So we're going to basically be able to do a problem that is a hard problem on the SAT, problem 19, page 643, without actually doing any math. And that's why this is straight up cheating. Again, it is not illegal though. You can do this. So what we're gonna do here is show you how to do geoestimation. Geoestimation takes advantage of the fact that the pictures on the SAT are drawn to scale unless they say otherwise. Now this problem does not say not drawn to scale, so we can assume it is. So the problem st uh, stipulates that the length of one side of the triangle is two. So we're gonna use that advantage or that information to our advantage. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the back of our answer key, or you can do this with two pencils, um, my picture is a little bigger than yours, so it's going to be a little harder for me, but you should be able to do this quite easily with a piece of paper. And we're going to take that distance, so if it's two, then we know that half that distance is one. So now, what we essentially have is a ruler with length one. We're then going to take that length, and we're going to estimate the radius of our circle. So the radius of our circle is very close to one, maybe between 0 0.8 and 0 0.9. So let's just call it, let's call it like 0 0.85 or you can do 0 0.8 or 0 0.9, either one's fine. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna estimate. The area of our circle is pi r squared. So with our numbers, that's gonna be pi times 0 0.85 times 0.85. And let me get my wizard calculator out. Make sure that you, uh, even though you are estimating, that you do this as accurately as possible. And we're approximately going to get an answer about like 2.3. And that's again approximations, 2.26. Now, we know roughly what our answer is. We're going to come down here and we're going to take a look at these answers. Now, this answer right here is approximately equal to 0.75. It's not even close. This answer is just a little bit over 2, so that's reasonable. This answer is a little bit uh, bigger than 2. It's like 2.3 or 2.4, so it's reasonable. This answer is far too big, and this answer is far too big. Now, if we do our estimation very accurately, which you would be able to do because you have a nice piece of paper and a, a picture that's drawn perfectly, mine's a little off, you would be able to know that your answer is in fact closest to the right answer, which is C. Now notice, we were able to get the right answer on a hard math question without doing any math. And that's why this is essentially cheating. But again, it's legal cheating, okay? The SAT will allow you to do this. So I want to stress, when you're on a hard math question and there's a picture, and that picture says drawn to scale, you can estimate, essentially turning a piece of paper or a pencil into a ruler and simply measuring the distances that you need. So check out some of our other How to Cheat on the SAT videos brought to you by The Weezer. Mindfish.com will help you ace the SAT. Practice for the test with SAT Quest, our online SAT quiz game with over 1,500 practice questions. Learn difficult SAT vocabulary words with short, funny, and memorable vocab clips on video vocab. We've got test prep pros from Harvard and Stanford standing by to give you the test prep guidance that you need. Master every concept on the test with SAT videos. Mindfish.com, your resource for all you need to ace the test.